So Jack, you're from Michigan. Yes. Michigan's kind of the country of repetition. The idea of generating parts, turning out rhythms, you know, and then when I go back and I look at the music that's come out of Detroit or Ann Arbor, you know, and I look at the MC5 or the Stooges, you know, I kind of see a similar sense of patterns and this kind of sense of like cycling and movement. You can't live next to factories without being influenced by them. It's like living next to a train track or something. There's no way that doesn't influence you. It's just going to sub subconsciously get in your head whether you like it or not. How do you look at the structure of the blues in terms of modern music? Everything in the last hundred years has been built off of that structure, that one, four, five, where there's 12 bars. Now you have a frame to do what you need to do to tell your story the way you want to tell it. And that's the frame that got created. For me, I often see your music as a form of minimalism. That set of notes and chords is constantly reassembled. I think a little bit of someone like Mondrian, you know, and it's, it's always about kind of creating new systems and new variations. We did an album on the White Stripes, our second record was called Distill, and it was, uh, you know, Meg and I on the cover with a bunch of red, white, and black rectangles and squares that I'd cut out and painted, and I just sort of thought it was interesting at the same time that uh, this uh, Distill movement, Mondrian and, and uh, Garrett Redfield were breaking things down to squares and rectangles and primary colors, that in the south of the United States, they had broken things down to the blues and the structure of the blues. You could also say that popular music is kind of a minimal structure. It's really rare that you see a song that's, you know, not around three and a half minutes. Right, yeah. You know, and there's a, that kind of perfect template. There's the hook, there's, you know, the return, there's maybe a chorus. What can I do? I'm just going to tell the same stories. It's all the same stories. You just got to tell it the way mm -hmm. you tell it. Right now, if you're Michelangelo and uh, Michelangelo is born right now or working right now, would he be hounded by paparazzi? Would he be? Uh, would he have his own blog and talk about art? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what Robert Johnson or Michelangelo thought about those topics. There's beauty in that mystery. We need anchor points. We need the grid, so to speak. But on the other hand, we're constantly drawn to the things that break that grid. Uh, it's just a matter now for the artist, you know, to, to determine what things to battle against and what things to hold on to dearly for, you know, for dear life.